Hi guys, this is uh, Marcy here, and basically I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make a um, <laughs> a basic softbox. You know, the light kind of things you can uh, get in Grayscale Gorilla's Light Pack um, and his studio thing. But basically, I'm going to make them for you, so you don't have to go buying them. First of all, you want to go up into this bit here, which is like uh, you got the freehand uh, thing, and you want to make a rectangle. Now you've got it there. You want to go up to the top left, and you want to select your rotate tool, and you want to rotate it. Uh, 90 degrees, what you should do is hold shift down and it locks it to whole numbers and then you can get it perfectly on that, okay, right so select this rectangle, we're going to go to the size, we're going to put about 100 by 100 like that you want to command C, command V, which makes a copy of it you want to get it, you want to drag it down below it, it doesn't really, you want it a good like, I don't know about there, below it, doesn't really matter because you're going to be moving up in a bit and you want to get that, re that rectangle and you'll put it to about a thousand by one thousand so you've got that there, I'm just going to yeah, zoom out mm -hmm. see, right, ok, you've got that there I want to CV again, control C, control V and copy that one and drag that down to about there and we're going to put that width, that size to 1500 by 15, oh god, hang on by 1500. Okay, so as you can see, we've got that there. We just, I just show you, we've got like uh, all of them there, which is your basic softbox kind of, um, uh, which we call it, um, kind of outline. What you do is uh, you want to go up to the, uh, you got these tall underneath plugins. You've got this little square, and then once there's hyper nerves, extrude nerves, lath nerves, sweep nerves, is it bezel nerves and loft nerves, and you want the loft nerves, so you open that. Highlight your rectangles and put them as a child of the loft nerves. And as you'll see, if we there, oh, on, if we just, uh, I don't know if my mouse would work. There we go. If we go to the loft nerves and we just move it up, there you go. There's your basic light uh, softbox. Uh, if we go to the uh, top angle, top uh, rectangle, you can change the size of it and the shape. If you drag that up a bit, um, you can you know just make it a bit like that. And then that's basically your basic softbox. So we're just going to name that softbox, softy box. Okay, all right. So we're going to minimise that. So you got that there, but you need the lights, don't you? Because otherwise, if we just render that out, it's just a blank thing. So what you want to do is you want to go into your square here, where your cube and stuff is. You make a plane, and because we know, and because uh, if you haven't moved it, it will stay exactly right in the centre. And because we know um, that uh, 1500, the bottom one, we're going to make the width of this to 1500. Oops. Hang on, right, fifteen hundred like that, okay. So see it's there. Hang on, what we'll do is we'll just uh and then we'll go into this bit here and we'll go for that one there. And we'll zoom out with the plane. And that just allows us to drag it in to get it to fit straight on that. There we go. Back to this. Open that one again. Okay, so it's there. And then what we'll do is if you just render it. Hang on, right there. Let's do that a bit. You can render it. There's a gap in there, as you can see. So we want to highlight the plane. We want to drag it up a little bit. About there, I think it is. Um, just about there. About there, I think. No, it's hard to tell, I can't really see. But yeah, we'll put it there for now and then I can see once I put the material on. So we're just going to make um, this material, I'm just going to make that black or grey or whatever colour you want just for the top. And we'll, and we'll drag that onto the softbox. There you go, so you do that. It's got a great thing on it. Oh, there we go, we can see it better now. See, there's a gap under there. But anyway, yeah, it's okay. And then you want to make your second material. And you want to take the specular off, and you want to take the color off, and you want to go into luminance. This gives it that. Now you can do all these like gradients and stuff. You could go with a Fresnel. Um, you could add like like a white there, and we'll add for that one. You could have I don't know a white there. It doesn't really matter. But you go back to that, and then you keep it as that. And you can have your brightness. You can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, when I watched the thing, uh, the guy said to do it to 500, but when I did it, it seemed a bit too much. So I'm going to put it to about. Uh, just for now, we'll put it to, say, 150.
Oh god, no, we don't. If it would work. Here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. 150, okay. I'm going to drag that. Oh, if my mouse would work. Onto the plane like that. So if we go underneath. Like that. Oh, here we go. You can see, um, you can see where the plane is in there. So watch. If we just drag it down. There we go. And you can see it's on there. Nice. And perfect. And why is that? Oh, anyway. To rotate the softbox like that. And that way, we get the plane. Drag it down. If I can highlight it. Plane, drag it down. There we go. We don't have to be perfect, I mean you can change this as to your liking, but basically there you go. And you want to highlight and you want to get the plane, and you just want to drag it into the softbox. So it's a child of it. That way when you move the plane around, oh god, when you move the uh, softbox around, it will uh, stay with it. So as you can see. So just a uh, that's basically your basic softbox and you can change it to however you want. Um it depends how like light you want it. But I'll just see if we can uh you know, let's go to this, I want to my text. Uh, tutorial. Um, we'll make a new thing. So now we'll go with like a little, like an orangey color. Reflection on. You want about? I don't know. I'll put it thirty-four percent. A little Fresnel because it always looks nicer. Um, oops. And we just want to add it, add it with like a reddish color. And we'll go with like a yellow. Yeah, it's quite cool looking. Let's go back into reflection. We'll put it about 50, about, well, I don't know, put it about 30%. Doesn't really matter. Um, it's going to get the soft box. I'm just going to lift it up a bit. Oops. Into our text. Zoom this round. Oh, let's wait. There we go. Zoom this in. Um, drag that into there. Okay. Um, now I'm not sure exactly how I get to get the softbox to work. We therefore just go into the um, flex, uh, the luminance. I'll put that up actually about 250. So yeah, so it's just a bit of light on it. And then you want to go into render settings. You want to add your ambient occlusion and your oh, not color correction. Uh, global illumination. I mean, occlusion will put to um, 200 by no, to 200 by 20. So that's maximum ray length is a uh, min min minimum is 20, maximum is 200. Yeah, actually 50%. Global initiation, I'll just go with that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to render that out. It takes a little longer to render. Yeah, I got a Skype thing before. Do do. Second, see, and as you can see, with the we just hasn't really worked that well. But if you if you look closely, you can actually see. Uh, if we we'll go to that, we'll have the reflection up a little bit, just so you can see where it is. You can take your speculum off, but that gives it a slight to the speculum off a second. Bring that out again. <laughs> Getting messages. Um, see, as you can see, the thing is given it, and that's your basic uh, softbox. I'd uh, spend a lot more time on it, but I can't be bothered. But basically, yeah. So that's how you create your softbox. There it is. Uh, if any of you um, like can't make them that well, or you struggle to do it, send me a message or something, and I might I'll say it might save this as a PSD or something, and give it out if you need it. And basically, yeah. So uh, that's. What it is, I'll just say this is a tutorial softbox. Oops, that's boss. Yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, okay, guys, so that's a tutorial on how to make a softbox. Um, hope you enjoyed. See you later in a bit.